let's say you are a hr of a company and you need to manage a lots of employee information who is working in your organization so you develop one power app screen like this here in gallery control you are displaying data let me run and show you so here data is displayed now what do you want so here you want to send a pdf which contain the detailed information of employee which is displaying here so how you can do using power app hi this is krupali from know how academy i welcome you all to power app full course before going ahead in this video let me tell you what you will learn from this video first of all you will learn which connector you should use to send an email from power app which contain pdf and second thing you will learn how you can send pdf via mail from power app so without delay let's get started so let me tell you the first thing which connector you need to use to send an email from power app so first of all you need to log in into your power app i have already logged in and here you need to go to the data section and add data click on add data and search for office 365 outlook i have already added let me show you here you can see that office 365 outlook and you require organization account for that so here you need to click on add data and search for office 365 outlook and it will be added so here you need to use office 365 outlook connector let me tell you the second thing how you can send pdf as an email attachment from power app so here you can see on my screen that i have taken one button the name of a button is uh, you can say button 11 and i gave a text as an email pdf then what do you need to write using the connector which you have added that is let me show you that is office 365 outlook connector you need to write a code to send the email from the power app so click on the button and go to the on select i have written a code let me explain you let me zoom little bit so first of all you need to write office 365 outlook that is a connector name then you need to write a function which is associated with that that is send email version 2 then inside the bracket you need to mention the to to whom you want to send an email then the second thing you need to mention that is called subject of the mail and the third thing you need to mention that is a body of the email so here I want to send an email to myself. Why? Because I cannot access other email ID. So I'm using my email ID. That is a currently login email ID from my organization account. So here I have written uh, user dot email. Then I need to write a subject name. So you can mention subject name dynamically. Let's say you here you can write that gallery one dot selected employee dot name data. That also you can mention. Otherwise you can mention the static uh, like this data of employee. Or here you can write like that. Uh, let's say here I want to write gallery. Let me just see the gallery. The name of the gallery here gallery employee. Let me go to again that and here. Let me write the dynamic subject. Here, this is a static subject. I need to write dynamic sub, uh, subject. Gallery employee, I think G L Y employee dot selected dot, uh, let's say first name. Okay. And I want to concatenate with the uh, information that is data of employee. So, whatever data, let's say if Krupali data is selected, so Krupali data of employee. Or you can say data, Krupali data. Okay. And let me just uh, write a comma after that. Then after you need to mention the body. Now, in the body section, you want to send an attachment, which uh, uh, is showing here. Let me just show you. Here, whatever data is displaying in that form control, that entire form detail, I want to send as a PDF. So, here make sure that your form control is there in your container 
so my form control is there inside a container one and uh, this form data that is entire form data you can send using a pdf so again click on that and let me go ahead in the code then here you need to write a curly bracket and ending the curly bracket now between the curly bracket you need to write one of the thing that is attachments so what you want so i want uh, attachment so whenever you are uh, sending an attachment two things you need to mention first is a name and the second one is content byte content byte means what uh, what you want to send as a pdf so that is the meaning of content byte so name so what can be the name of the pdf so here it is written sample and then manually you need to write dot pdf so whatever the file name you want to give and then you need to give the extension so let's say instead of sample i can write here uh, gallery one dot select employee dot selected first name and dot pdf so let's say krupali dot pdf abc dot pdf and so on then you need to write content byte and the column and whatever data you are sending uh, which is there in a container you need to convert it into a pdf so here you need to use a pdf and inside a bracket you need to write the container so whatever data is there in a container it will be sent as a pdf so here make sure that your form should be there and then complete the bracket and after that i am notifying the uh, person that pdf send via mail now let me run and show you so here let's say uh, latina costa this data i want to send to me as a pdf so let me just click on email pdf uh, so within a fraction of time you will get a message that pdf sent via mail then you will uh, you heard the notification sound right so let me go to my mail id and here you can see that i get an email address sorry not email address i get an email which contain the thing uh, that is latina data now why it is coming latina data because here if you have seen uh, our code uh, click on that here in that and whatever data of the employee or whatever the first name of employee is there i am sending as a subject so here in subject here you will see that then here you will see that the person name dot pdf it will display and here in the body section it is written so this attachment is also there so let me open that attachment and show you so here you can see that whatever data is displaying the container here you will see that if you change the uh, form look and feel inside a container let's say here this is the form control right and this is three column let's say instead of three i want to make it uh, one column so the, the, this way data will be displayed if i uh, bifurcate it into two column here this way data will be sent as a pdf and if you just go again to your mail id and try to select that you can select data from that so this way you can download pdf via power app before this video let me tell you what you learn from this video first which connector is required to send pdf from power app to your mail and second how you can send pdf from power platform services that is called power app thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious, keep learning.